All right, guys, so our next step is we need to start isolating our different facial features so we can enlarge them, warp them, manipulate them, just make them look totally crazy and different than they did before. And then, of course, masking them back down so they can blend into our skin and hopefully still look as realistic as possible while still being crazy and outrageous. But before we do that, we need to kind of move a couple things around over here. We have a face layer with a mask and we have a neck layer with a mask. I want you to take your neck and just drag it down here below your gradient background just so it's out of the way and we're not having to stare at it. Now we are going to leave our mask on our face for just a little bit longer. We could apply it, but we are going to use it in just one of the other steps to kind of mess with our ears. So we'll just have to kind of realize it's there and work around it for now, but we will come back at some point and potentially get rid of that. So with that being said, because of this mask, you have to make sure you are clicked on, I'm going to click a whole bunch so you can see it. You have to make sure you're clicked on the thumbnail for your face. You should see this little white frame show up around that thumbnail. That's how you know you are selected on it. Make sure that is not on your mask because that's not where our mouth is. Our mouth picture is right here. So once we are on our thumbnail for our photo, you're going to come over here and you're going to get your favorite tool of all time, which was the regular plain old lasso tool. And we just need to select your mouth. Now, because we're using this lasso tool, it does not have to be beautiful. And if you look at what I'm tracing here, you're going to notice it is far from perfect. But having all that extra skin is actually key. And that's what's going to help us blend the edges of our extra skin down into the original picture. So I'm just going to hold my mouse still so you can see, my mouth, my mouse still, so you can see what extra skin I've kind of grabbed. So as long as you're making a shape kind of similar to this, you'll be all right. When I let go, my ants are marching around my mouth on my face layer. Now we don't want to mess with your mouth on our face picture because we need that backup. We don't want to mess with the original and then also we can't blend it. So we need to take this mouth and we need to take it into a separate layer. So Command J allows for me to then take those ants and allow for it to make its own new brand new layer. So there's a copy of it there. So if I hide that mouth, you'll see the original picture still isn't messed with, but this mouth here is just a totally separate image just stacked on top. Go ahead and call this layer mouth. So we're going to have a bunch of layers here in a little bit, so it's going to be super helpful if you know what's what. Also, these thumbnails are kind of tiny, so you might not know what is even in that layer. All right, let's have some fun. So this mouth, do a little Command-T action here, and I am going to make it bigger. It is okay if your mouth goes over your nose, or excuse me, your skin goes over your nose, or if your skin kind of falls off the edges of your face, that's fine. If you want to rotate it, you can. You can do whatever you want to it. But whenever you're happy with it, you do need to hit Enter. Now, it doesn't look so hot. It looks a little choppy. We're going to fix that. We're going to come back to our mouth layer here, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to apply a mask. Just like we did before, that mask is now blank. But we're going to change that. So I'm going to come over here to my paint brushes. And I'm going to get me a fuzzy brush. And I'm going to make sure that fuzzy brush is set to black. Now this is where you got to kind of play around. You got to find a happy medium size. You don't want a huge brush because just like on your face, it kind of fades things away and you can't control it. But on the other hand, you don't want one that's super teeny tiny because it's going to take you forever and you're not going to get anywhere. For this particular picture, I recommend about a size 50, maybe even 60. And what you're going to notice is as you start coming along the edges here, you can just kind of lightly start erasing away your skin. And as you do that, that kind of faded, dissipated edge Let's us blend that mouth image down into the skin from our original picture. Making sure I get all that skin that's hanging off for sure, because that would look really bad. Now just keep on blending. Now you don't have to go in here and just like trace the edge of your lips. 
That would kind of defeat the purpose. We want a little bit of extra skin because that just gives us wiggle room on color. But down here, kind of underneath his lip, just on this particular image, when you're using your own photos, you're going to have different battles to fight. It's super light, and then he's really dark along the edge here, so I might have to erase a little bit more than I expected down here, just so I know it blends a little better. And if you can hear my mouse, I'm doing kind of quick strokes. I'm doing individual strokes. I'm not trying to do this whole thing in one quick swipe. That's so if I do one swipe and I don't like it, it's really easy to back up and fix it. Again, I am kind of removing a little more skin down here than I planned, but that's just because of the colors of my chin. It didn't really match very well. There we go. I use my mask, and if you look over here on your mouth mask, you should see kind of a, a lip liner effect. You should see a mouth shape. Anything that looks weird, you can mask it away. If you screw up, just paint white and you can bring it back. Now I'm going to add me a little weird swatch right here just because I might not have missed anything. But one thing I recommend you do is when you think you're done and everything looks nice and blended and beautiful, go ahead and just hide your face for a little bit and look to see if you kind of missed anything. Now I added this piece right here on purpose. So I'm coming back to my mouth mask, swap back to black, and I'm going to paint away anything I don't want. But I did truly miss a little spot right here, so I'm just going to fix that. So as you're looking at it, if you just see any little random pieces of color that you've left behind, just go back and get rid of it. We want this image to be as clean and nice as possible. Alright, so when you zoom out, that is your mouth. We're going to repeat kind of these same steps for the other eyes and noses and stuff, but we're going to have kind of different things that we're also going to have to do with them. So be sure and save and move on to the next step.